mystery is solved. So, just what is a chupacabra? Is it the mysterious monster of Mexican myth? Or just the Wednesday lunch special at El Sombrero number two? Well, star reporter Oswego Jones has first-hand knowledge of the chupacabra. Let's hear her story. First, Dick, it's Vertigo. Vertigo Jones. And as you so lovingly pointed out, I do have, well, first-hand knowledge of the chupacabra. But first, chupacabra, is it rumor or reality? A cryptid, a creature of cryptozoology. Chupacabra translates as goat sucker and is no stranger to the Will County rectangle. Witnesses have brought us videos and photos, business owners like Mark Peel and teenagers fishing in Hamill Woods, and I was, well, I was attacked by one. It happened so fast and yet so slow. It came at me, and I will never forget those, those eyes. And I knew, knew it was the chupacabra. Luckily I escaped, but it did get a piece of me. I was rushed into surgery. They were able to save my finger and reattached it, but as you can see, the damage had been done. Fortunately, no damage was done at Peel's auto repair when something showed up on his security camera one last July. Yeah. Hi, this is Vertigo Jones and I'm here with Mark Peel at Peel's Automotive and Motorcycle Repair at the corner of Theodore and Rayner here in Joliet. How are you doing today? Good, how are you? No, great. And we are here because you contacted us in regards to some security footage that you caught. Yeah, it was very strange. I, I don't know what it is. That's why I called you guys. It, it just looked like a dog on, walking on two legs. Well, Mark, our investigators are all over that. Well, that's great. I'm glad because I don't know what this thing is. I'll sleep a lot better at night when I finally do find out what this was. This is Vertigo Jones. I'm with Mark Peel at Peel's Automotive Motorcycle Repair. Come down and check it out down here at Theodore and Rayner in Juliet. And no one was hurt when teenagers fishing in Hamill Woods took this photo. They agreed to take us back to where it all happened to see what we could find. We're inside the Will County Rectangle here at Hamill Woods, and I'm with Daisy in Scarlet. And they have said they uh, seen a chupacabra. Is that right? Yes. And can you describe to me what you've seen? It was little, and it was... It was huge. No, it wasn't. It was, it was huge. small. It was It was huge. small and it, it was brown. Coming out no, of it head. didn't. Yes, it, it did. <laughs> no, it didn't. Yes, it did. A tail? Like five feet It didn't long. have a you tail. Don't know. I don't know what you're talking about. It had spears coming out of its spine of bone. <laughs> and there you guys go. Have it. We are going to go on a chupacabra hunt here at Hamill Woods. I saw something, don't know what it was, it started in the air, ran over there somewhere. What it looked like? I don't know, nothing like I've ever seen before. And then we heard them like, and we looked and it was right there. It was so fast. So fast. And then it was gone. And then it was gone. Did you see it? It's here. No. Go, 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 go,
everything I learned. I had an idea of where it came from. So I went right to the source and asked the horse, RT20, what do you think about this? Yeah, Vertigo, I'm really, really sorry about that. You know, sometimes when we go down by Jim's marina, he likes to go out at night and go explore and run around the city and stuff. And uh, you just like he was just like lost and he wasn't sure where he was. And I, I think you kind of surprised him. He felt so bad about well, that. Well, there it is, straight from the horse's mouth. Mystery solved. Back to you, Dick. Thanks, Vertigo. Good job. Turns out, a chupacabra is not the lunch special. Tuesday, November 7th, 2006, was an unusual day at O'Hare International Airport. It seems United Airlines Gate C-17 had an unusual visitor that caused quite a ruckus and dominated the news media that day. Approximately 4.30 p.m., federal authorities at O'Hare received a report that a group of 12 airport employees were witnessing a metallic, saucer-shaped craft hovering over Gate C-17. Eyewitnesses reported the strange object was first spotted by a ramp employee who was pushing back United Flight 446, which was departing Chicago for Charlotte, North Carolina. The ramp worker then notified the flight crew about the spinning metallic object above their aircraft. And it is believed that both the pilot and co-pilot of this aircraft also witnessed the object at this time. According to the History Channel show UFO Hunters, several independent witnesses outside the airport also saw the object. One of these witnesses described a disc-shaped craft hovering over the airport, which was obviously not clouds. According to this witness, a couple of minutes later, the saucer shot through the clouds at high velocity, leaving a clear blue hole in the cloud layer. So far, no conclusive photographic evidence of the UFO has surfaced, although it was reported that one of the United pilots had a digital camera at the time and may have photographed the event. Nevertheless, the FAA, the Federal Aviation Authority, remains silent about this incident. The question, though, is, is it just an unidentified flying object, or if it actually was an alien spacecraft? We'll have to hear from the aliens to find out. Well, we're in a unique position to be able to do just that. Hey, R2, are you able to shed any light on this subject? Yeah, that was us. We were just taking our new ship for a test drive. This WD-40's fault again. He didn't turn on the cloaking device. Ruffled a lot of feathers from what I seen. <laughs> so Cagney and Lacey gave him a ticket for aborting the cloaking device connection. An ACDC. R2, thanks for clearing that up. No problem. A lot of people have been wondering about that incident. And thanks to you, that mystery is solved. Well, I think tonight we cleared up a lot of things you folks might have been wondering about. See, we solved the uh, Chupacabra mystery. Oh, and Brandon Locks. And uh, O'Hare UFO. The O'Hare UFO. The disappearance of Flight 19. And... I don't think we ever no. have to see another show about Roswell the rest of our lives. But I couldn't have done it without Vertigo and Dizzy here. And uh, now we're heading all down the trail of the next round of mysteries for our next show. Be okay. sure to join us for WD4. Ancient Aliens, Chinley Parks, T-Rex. What are you doing? Do you no. know what you're doing Stop. back there? Hey, WD-40! <laughs>